So, why Japan? Food, culture, it sounded perfect. First of all, Sunny is absolutely incredible. What a brilliant show. It's a genre bending ride. It's one part mystery thriller and uh, one part dark comedy and absolutely incredible. Rashida, we already knew you were an amazing actor, uh, but we see sides uh, and emotional depths that you bring to Sunny that we haven't seen or that you bring to Susie that we haven't seen before. You have an incredible ability to balance comedy and tragedy and we see this rawness and vulnerability in Susie. Can you tell us a little bit about Susie and what intrigued you about the role in the project of Sunny? That's so nice. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Um I'm older, so I've just experienced more life um and I think I wanted to be able to bring that to my work, you know. And this part was great because it was not like me in a lot of ways. Susie is um, misanthropic and uh, uh, reactive and not a rule follower and um, uh, made some made some choices, some bad choices in her life and some good choices in her life. But ultimately, you know, she's she's facing this unimaginable loss and mystery. And, um, you know, I would never had the opportunity to kind of be the like, the, the propulsive force of a, of a mystery, which is like a, a very challenging, I have found out. Um, I'm like in awe of people who can do this well. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard way to act because you have to like keep the tension alive every single scene. You can never drop that tension. Even if you're being funny, darkly funny, whatever, you have to like have everybody with you the entire time, um, plus the grief element. So, that felt like, you know, a challenge I was maybe ready for in my life. Um, it was, it was, it was difficult. It was definitely difficult, but, um, but I like that. And I also love the kind of like larger themes that this show um, comes up against. Um, and I don't think there's any easy answers. And I like that too. It's like a very complex show and it does a lot of things and it asks a lot of questions and it doesn't necessarily provide a lot of answers. Um, it philosophically, but I think mystery wise, it is very satisfying. It will be very satisfying for people. I couldn't agree more. It's one of the most thought provoking shows I've seen, and it's such a long time. Uh, Hido Toshi, you are absolutely incredible. Uh, as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, I, I love your films. Uh, you're a superstar in Japan. Um, but this is your first Western project and your first English speaking role. What was it about Sunny that drew you to the project? And can you talk about the brilliant yet demanding designer that you play Masa who's at the center of our story here center of our mystery so this ne ma mazu sono kyakon o yonde ma osoraku kono sakuhin wa ima made sekai ju de dare mo mita koto ga nai sakuhin naru daro to omoimashita so shite ma ima gendai de aru ai no mondai to ka technology no shinka no mondai ni nani ka moshikashitara hitotsu no michi ga 救いの道が見つけられるかもしれない。この見た Oh, that's absolutely incredible. Thank you. Now, Rashida, you got to work with the real robot Sunny on set, uh, but really brought to life by Joanna uh, Sotomura. Um, can you talk about Susie and Sunny's relationship in the, in the show and then working with Joanna uh, as Sunny, the, the, the homebot? Yeah. Um... I love this relationship because it's it's hard won, you know? I don't think you don't expect Sunny to to cave to the charms of, of I'm mean, sorry, you don't expect Susie to cave to the charms of Sunny when when they first meet. Um and I do think that persistence and loyalty and also this like deep knowledge of her family that Sunny has that nobody else has. Like they share this thing in common, this super intimate thing. Nobody else has it. So she's like she ends up sort of relying on Sunny for that. But um, but yeah, I mean, I think having Joanna animate this character and being able to kind of in practical terms act with Joanna through Sunny because we did that in present time was really helpful because it made Sunny feel human because there was this like humanity behind, literal humanity behind her. Um, 
But and I've had like, you know, I think we've all had friendships like this, maybe not with robots where you're like, that person's came in a little hot. Um, we're good. And then they just, they wear you down a little bit, you know, they, and, and also they're, they're there for you in times you don't expect them to be there for you um, when you're really, really reaching your bottom. And there's something to that when somebody can see you in your absolute worst and Sunny does. Sunny just sticks around for better, for worse. She's relentless. Even when Susie's trying to get rid of her, you know, throw her away, she just keeps coming back. And there is something to be said about that kind of friendship. Although, who knows if Sunny's, you know, ultimately a good guy. You know, you said you have to watch and see. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, Hidotoshi, can you talk about, I love the chemistry between you and Rashida. I think you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, can you talk about working with her on screen and then working with her and Lucy and Katie as collaborators on Sunny? Yeah, it was ま、素晴らしい夫、素晴らしい父親を演じるんだなと思って、あ、じゃあよろしくお願いしますっていうね始まったんですけども、ま、脚本もらうたびに、え?まさって<笑> But you already <laughs> knew that, right? But I, I, I didn't yeah. know that, so... <laughs> I knew you weren't agreeing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's why it's really, what do you think? Well, that's why Katie and Lucy are まあ、わからないです。僕はそんな人間じゃないと思ってるけど、僕自身の中にある、まあ、暴力性だったり、もしかしたら悪い部分ですよね。そういうものを見出して、そういうふうに役にどんどんいろんな面を足していったんだと思